Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the October 7th, 2013 Raleigh Board of Selectmen. First on the agenda is call the meeting to order. Next is the Pledge of Allegiance. Stu Delzell, our former selectman and now water commissioner, is in the audience. So, Stu, would you like to lead us in the pledge? I'd be very happy. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Stu, thank you. My pleasure. <clears throat> okay. Next is Chairman's comments, and I just have some brief comments tonight. Uh, this afternoon I, was, I went over to the Congregational Church and um, I talked to Troop 15 of the Weeblos, correct? Am I correct on that? Weeblos? It's Weeblos. It's been a long time since I was a Weeblo. So, um, so Boy Scouts going from Cub Scouts to to Boy Scouts, and they're in this transition phase of Weeblos, and they're, and they're, they're about uh, about 12 of them, and they asked some great questions about citizenship, and it was a lot of fun. I got to spend about 15 minutes with them, and they asked all kinds of questions, and we went soup to nuts. We went from town issues all the way to dinosaurs. So it was a lot of fun to, to be with the boys and to listen to them. And they have a great troop leader, Chase. What's Chase's last name? Cordero. She is she's wonderful. And uh, it was a lot of fun to be, be with young, those young people. And we got some, a great, that Troop 15 is a great troop. Uh, the other thing I have, uh, Chairman's comments, I read uh, on Friday in the newspaper about Old Nancy, and they had a time over in Georgetown, and it was really nice to read the article, but um, they have a replica. That's all I can say. And talking to the, our canon there, he assured me that Old Nancy is in Raleigh. So that's it. Okay. We are first appoint. Oh, we have an appointment at 7 o'clock. Brent Bazelak is in the audience. Brent, you, have, you already have your seat up front. That's good. <laughs> and I'm going first uh, going to discuss pictometry, and I'll let you yes. go, Brent. Uh, good evening, Chairman Snow and members of the Board of Selectmen. I'm Brent Bazelak, Service Conservation Agent to the Town of Raleigh. And um, some of you may know that the town for a number of years has participated with uh, through the efforts of the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission on utilizing aerial photography which is called pictometry. It's imagery that is taken at an angle and then has software that allows a lot of interpretation to be done with that imagery not just uh, Google Earth looking straight down and getting a, a view from what the seagulls see but um, useful things such as being able to take measurements and stuff. And if I may, so what has initiated my request to address the board tonight is that um, the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission seeks to get a commitment from towns on the North Shore uh, to establish whether they have a critical mass of communities that wish to um, basically participate in them making arrangements for this imagery to be flown. It utilizes unique uh, camera and navigational equipment that's in a, I believe, a single engine airplane that has to be computer guided and therefore they need a certain number of communities in order to come up and make the appointment with the company that does this um, and they need to schedule it ahead of time. Just to, just to provide some context, um, here are some imagery, images that have utilized the pictometry that different departments and boards have utilized in the past. <coughs> as well as I just had the, handed the chairman uh, imagery that is very pertinent for an issue that I was asked uh, to investigate quite recently and that was the uh, roadway and lock gate at Nelson's Island and the Stackyard Road. Um, there's part of the aspects um, 
of this imagery, again, is that it allows measurements to be made, such things as the height of structures, um, not just the distances of one point to another point. Uh, you can also, uh, if you so choose, compute the square footage of a roof if you wish to estimate how many shingles or a flat rubber membrane are possibly going to be needed in the near mm -hmm. future without having to get on the end of a ladder and try to hold a tape measure yourself. Um, I believe, uh, let's see, the light department, the water department, the fire department, the police department, inspectional services with the building inspector, the health department, the conservation commission, and even on some cases I think the uh, planning department have utilized this imagery. The police and fire departments can utilize it for both um, to get an idea of the relationship of neighboring structures. If they're called to an incident on a certain address, they can see what other uh, residences or buildings might be nearby. They can also use it for uh, search and rescue operations in order to, uh, again, get a lay of the land without actually having to send a cruiser on the scene. <clears throat> and so in the past, Merrimack Valley Plain Commission has communicated with the Conservation Department. We've headed up and sought to organize and solicit um, other departments, what their interest has been. And we've also utilized um, funds from our expense lines coming out of the different departments to try and get a critical mass to make the purchase for the town of Raleigh. <clears throat> Just on October 3rd, we received a letter from the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission wishing to see if we would commit to them arranging a flight in spring 2014. The <coughs> estimate for the cost of obtaining this imagery, which they call both community and neighborhood images, for the town of Raleigh would be $8,934. Uh, we have seen this price um, rise, and also we've seen the cycle of obtaining this imagery go every two to three years. The feeling being that there's enough development activity and enough changes that over the span of two or three years it makes sense to, um, to see if one can uh, participate and make the appointment for a new flight to be uh, flown and the images to be obtained. All the town departments have access to the uh, MyMap program, which the assessor's office very kindly um, brokers and arranges through the uh, Merrimack Valley Planning Commission. And then recently, I think within the last two years, uh, the pictometry folks have arranged to have online web-based um, interface for the town departments to access these images although they can be gotten to through the MyMap program also, which links it right to the address. So I'm here to make a request to the selectmen that seeing as there's a broad usage of town departments uh, having access to this imagery, that we'd like to request that the selectmen consider funding this through uh, general appropriation instead of the departments who seek to uh, very um, efficiently utilize their expense lines uh, because this is a significant purchase and that it doesn't occur on an annual basis it's very hard for the departments to individually figure out how to uh, configure their budgets to um, be able to anticipate uh, a fairly large expense such as this. We also um, have been made aware that as is past practice Merrimack Valley Planning Commission will allow payments to be made stretched out over at least two fiscal years, if not three, uh, when these images are actually acquired. That means so if they do fly in April of 2014 and they choose to do the spring before the leaves have come out so that we can see a lot of the ground topography, that then that means that payments would, would be allowed to be made in FY15, FY16, and maybe even into FY17. So I'm here to request if the selectmen would so choose to consider um, taking the acquisition of this imagery off of the <coughs> individual department's expense lines that choose to um, participate in this, if they'd so consider seeking to get an appropriation um, for the town to, to 
Our good friend. Um, I called Dennis Desaglio, who's like your director, on Friday. It's, we just spoke to him briefly about this. And Dennis, everything you've just said just is completely Dennis uttered. And we could extend these payments for three years. Um, and we would, the first payment wouldn't be due until FY15 in, after July, July 1 of 2014. So that's good news. And we can, again, put about two years or three years. So, a discussion from the board? No, I think it's a, uh, a valuable thing. In the past, you know, we had an issue that we had, uh, looked at, I'm not going to say where the areas was, but you were involved with us when uh, I was on the member of the water board. And, and the Google, am I right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> showed, showed the Just a, location. You, can, you know, it really. Nate, if you uh, can zoom in on that. But well, this is a picture yeah. of Stackyard Road, we, and the Stackyard Road has come up a couple of times to talk about. I'll hold it as still as I possibly can. But you can see the uh, the parking area, and then you can see where the clambers have been going out the road. Uh, what's that to the island? Nelson, Nelson Island. Nelson Island. Nelson Island. So if you can get in there, you can see here's the parking area. Oops, let me see. Right there, there's the parking area. And there's the road that goes out to, to Nelson Island. That, We've been discussing so pictometry is it's a great tool to use yep. within the town for the conservation department for the planning department water fire you name it I mean it's it's a great tool to have and, uh, any other discussion from the board Dave oh, no, sir. Joe hi okay so you need a vote from us I give you a motion to uh Purchase the yes, uh, if you could, because they're, me me? they're asking me to sign a letter right. and make oh, a commitment. Yes. So I yeah. make a motion. <laughs> appreciate motion. That. So <laughs> that, that we adopt uh, the pictometry program to be paid through a general budget appropriation for the first payment in FY15. Second. I have a motion. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Well, thanks, Brent. That was good. Thank you. Come in, and, and I think it will be a useful, useful tool not only to <coughs> conservation but to other departments within the town. And it's always a pleasure to do business with Merrimack Valley. And I've been yeah. on the on the commission now for know, about seven years, and it's um, they always they have so many great uses that they're underused, really. The commission. Frank, thank you. May I be of further service to the board this evening? Think that's it. I don't think there's anything else, Frank. Thank you so much for coming in. So okay, okay, yeah. Hold on to the pictures because I will be <laughs> submitting you a package with those. Okay. <laughs> Again, Brent, thank you. Pleasure. Brent, hey, Brent. Brent one, just one quick oh, guide. Sorry. If you're going to be contacting Georgetown regarding the gross parking, yes. If you want, I'm really happy if we can arrange it by mutual time. Yes. Yeah. I'd be glad to. Okay. I'll, so I'll let you know. We can work it out. Yeah, just what transpires. Okay. okay. Thanks, Brent. Thank you. Thank you. Um, citizen query is about to end in one minute. Is there anybody here have a question? I forgot to announce it from 7.05 to 7.15, but anyone? Nothing? Okay. Uh, just a, a reminder that this meeting is being audio taped and videotaped. So that's it. All right. This <clears throat> coming up in about 30 seconds to 7.15, and we have a Water Board Commissioners to discuss the FY15 uh, budget and special town meeting. FY14, did I say that? Oh. What did I say, 15? 15, 15, yeah. I 15, okay, I have 15 in my mind. All right, so with that, I'll ask the Board of Water Commissioners to take a seat. So <coughs> Tim, still. Good evening. Okay. Okay. With that, a call for motion, a roll call vote. To, uh, first, a call for motion, a roll call vote to open a joint meeting between the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Water Commissioners. I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor of the roll call vote. Jack Cook. Hi, Joe Perry. Hi, Robert Snow. Hi, Dave Peterson. Hi, Tim Toomey. Hi, Stu Delzell. Okay. 
we are in joint meeting right now. So, at this point we need to look forward to the future of the Water Department with the um, departure of the business manager now in time to make transition to outsourcing the financial end of the operation. Other uh, nearby towns have contract services such as Salisbury, Amesbury. Amesbury has, uh, has a uh, contract with Penichek Water Services Company for their billing and collections. We need to go forward in the same manner. This is uh, the recommended recommendation, um, the plan. Currently, if you don't already ha uh, have uh, department policies and procedures in place for the department uh, side of the department, please have them prepared now and send us a copy. Do you did you have those and procedures? And we don't have them. We don't have them. Okay. Can you get that to the board? Okay. Uh, Short-term plan: hire a temporary account uh, type firm to handle the books and use the accounting software. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Sir. I'd like to make a motion, if I may, to open for the board of selectmen to open the warrant for the purpose of transferring money. From the water department's business business manager's account to outsource the accounting. All right, sir. Uh, I have a motion to open up the warrant. I'll second it. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, Stu is uh, proposed to transfer funds from um, in, in what line is this to? The uh, business managers. Business managers. Position? Yes. So what would that do? That would, when she would be done, yeah, talking about the balance through to the current uh, fiscal year 15. That's right. To so take that. For us, she's right. She's through uh, a week from Friday. Early. Right. Okay. Um, okay, so we're talking about transferring from the fiscal 14 uh, water budget. Um, you have to take into account that the, uh, the person in that position uh, will probably have some vacation times and things like that to, that we'll have to cash out on, which would leave about um, $32,000 left um, that could be transferred by a vote of town meeting to the expense line. <coughs> Before we go any further, uh, Laura, explain to everybody, Laura Hamilton. Did, did, did this is on the agenda, Mr. Chairman, if you want to jump ahead to. Um, yeah, I would like. Um, is that in the package? Yeah, I think we got one in here. General business number four. General business number four. Let's, let's jump ahead to that, okay? Before we, so we make everything clear to the audience at home. <coughs> Okay, I have general business number four, a letter of resignation from Laura Hamilton. Laura, uh, Laura is resigning from her position as water department manager, a letter of resignation. Let me read this into the record. <coughs> Dear Mr. Rezer, please accept this letter as a formal notification that I am leaving my position as business manager of the water department effective October 18, 2013. During my 19 years of employment, I have had the opportunity to work with a number of talented co-workers. Unfortunately, the past year of the Water Department has been tumultuous for myself as well as others in the department. The hour, hours I was required to work and responsibilities I was assigned was not uh, purview of my hire. I always tried to do my best to service the citizens of the town during this difficult time. During my uh, last two weeks, I will try to close out an unfinished business I have been working on. I will also provide a summary of things I was working on so others can follow through sincerely. Laura Hamilton. Um, with that, I have a motion to accept this resignation. I'll, I'll make a motion. We accept that. I have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We'll accept this, I always like to add, with regrets. 
Yeah. We'll send her a letter of thank you. Yeah, we'll send a letter of thank, thank you to our, for her wow. service of 19 years to the town. Okay. And that would probably be part of the motion. All right. So, let us move on back to the meeting. And Stu, now we can move, I think, I take that? And talk about that position. My motion was to take the balance of the monies that's left in this fiscal year to outsource the account of the department. Okay. You're saying thirty-two thousand dollars too? Is it? Uh, yes, but as Debbie said, uh, it could be a little less. Kind of figured out thirty-two thousand four hundred and twenty-eight ninety-three, but we can make it an even. $32,000, so just in case there's a little math error there. Okay. So it's $32,428.93. We'll keep it at $32,000. We'll $32, make it $32,000 even. Yeah, even at all. That's an even. Okay. Right. Now we're going to have to uh, apply uh, for the town meeting, right? To transfer this at the special. Yes. Well, I have to put an article. Yeah, put an article. Yeah, like Stu said, to open up. Uh, so, so we have to vote to put a. Yes, yeah, so I need to vote to, to, to put an article, correct? Yeah, so uh, there was a, a motion um, to by the Board of Selectmen to open the warrant to accept an article. That that was made. From the Board of Water Commissioners. From the Board of Water Commissioners. To place an article on the town warrant for this November 4th. And do we need to do this during the joint meeting or we can hold this off until actually we can we can vote it can we as as a board well, i want to make sure that the board has voted uh the water board has voted on the article first um, so the, the board needs the water board needs to vote the article first so uh, you want to make the motion I have a motion from Mr. Dalzell to open the warrant for the purpose of transferring money from the business manager salary line to the expense account. Mm -hmm. so, so, the, so the board of selectmen in the amount of thirty-two thousand. So I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Roll call vote. Now you need a vote Tim from Tony. the. Um, Need a vote from the board of selectmen. To now we need to vote for yeah. the board of selectmen to Open place. Open the warrant, accept yeah. the article as voted on. Okay, so and that can I a I'll make a motion that we uh, open the warrant to fund the. Uh, well, to accept no, the just article. To open the warrant. Just the open the warrant. Just, okay. Okay. For the open water the department. To accept the article as just voted on by the water oh, board okay. to close okay. the warrant. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Or make it several motions if you like. Okay. Okay, I'll make that motion. Do you want the amount of money that we got to open sure. to play? $32,000 to be placed on the uh, special town meeting in November. I have a motion. Second. I have a second. All those in favor? Before, just, oh, before we, discussion? Uh, before we vote on that, I'm just concerned that we, what the plan is going to be. In other words, mm -hmm. uh, there's a short-term plan listed here on the, on the paperwork we have. In other words, is we're going to spend thirty-two thousand dollars to hire an accountant, or are we looking at at going out and looking at the? I know the water board looked at a couple of water companies that would do anything from a business service to you know something larger. I guess I'm just trying to get a picture. Well, are we looking? I think that's a longer term because we'd have to issue an RFP for that, and um, an immediate concern would be to have uh, an accounting type firm come in uh, a couple of hours a week to use the accounting software that, that's there and to po do the postings and things like that. Uh, in the meantime, the administrative assistant can be trained uh, by any number of town hall staff here on how to do the bills and the payroll. I presume that's probably ongoing if there's some policies. I'm, I'm sure that uh, Laura has you know, written procedures down for the administrative end of the, of the operation. So that, that would be something that we would do now to keep things going. Uh, there would be the November 4th voter town meeting, and uh, we can get an RFP out for, uh, like we said, um, 
strictly for billing and collection services, you know, um, at any time, you know, now, subject to appropriation at town meeting. Okay, so at this, I, I guess my question is at this time, I know we've talked about various scenarios mm -hmm. of how much to uh, parcel out or, or hire an outside firm to do. So at this, at this point, we're talking about hiring a, an accountant or an accounting person to take over Laura's. On a short term basis on a 1099. Have an account temps or somebody to come in that, that knows. Peachtree accounting software uh -huh. on a short-term basis to make sure that everything's being posted correctly. So is the water department still going to handle the billing and all, all the all the rest of it? This person is just going to be doing Well, it they would be doing enough to handle this on a short-term basis till you get a company in that could handle this. So we won't, don't want to uh, drag this out too long. So we have, you know, we can issue an RFP if they want to Fine tune this at one of the upcoming meetings. Get the get that out issued while town meeting is going. We're going forward on it. Everything mm -hmm. would be subject to appropriation. We'd be you know we're looking at this just again just the short term, and then the long term maybe um, do something like uh, Amesbury does for the contract. Well, that they, contract that would be the purpose of the be, RFP. Is that would be an RFP. Similar to what Amesbury does. Mm -hmm. Billing and collection. All right, so I guess I'm just trying to make sure I understand and everybody understands that at this point where we're talking about $30,000, is that probably going to be, I mean, how, how much are we assuming or thinking we're going to spend to fill the accounting position from now until the end of the fiscal year? Is that going to be something close to that $30,000 or is that going to be, I mean, maybe less hours, so it's something cut in half from that or whatever. Yeah. But because I guess then I'm looking at if we're going to issue a, an RFP to do billing and collection, is, it, is that kind of money going to be available, or are we looking at? Well, that would be in, in the, the spring. In the you spring know what I'm saying? In other words, we'll, I'm just a little bit confused as to how much we're looking to do and how much money we have available to do it, uh, so that it'll be a smooth transition from <coughs> what we have now to the accounting. To possi possibly the building, and that's up to the water department, uh, the water board, to, yes, to make that determination. I'm assuming, and then longer term is issue an RFP to if we feel if the water board feels that with our support to look at other other operations or, or so on and so forth. So am I talking in the right direction? Is that kind of what we're looking at, Tim? Well, I, I believe that. We're going to have a um, a real need to get on in front of that uh, uh, duties of the uh, business manager, and so we need to do something real quick. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense to uh, get a contractor in here to do this. Uh, we're going to have to look at the uh, the money there that's going to cost us to get this this accomplished, and we're not really sure at this time, really. How much money this is going to cost, mm -hmm. um, but this is like a, a band-aid for our problem right now. So uh, we're going to go it. We're going to, you know, get you know arms around it and get this thing going. And if we need to do anything else, we're going to have to uh, be more creative to get you know other articles in the town meeting and then to, to cover what we might need. Or we got a shortcoming. So I don't know if that answers your question. I'm not sure where the money would come from if we had to extend this out. We only have thirty thousand, uh, but we can look into that. Do you have any ideas, Debbie? Or? Well, that's why I just said billing and collection. You're not going to deal with the customer service end or anything like that yet. That's why we're going to um, shift it over. You have the administrative problem. assistant to handle that, and the water superintendent. So between the two of them, you're still taking all the calls. So it'd be billing and collection. Yeah, we're going to try to you know um, narrow the duties down. To make sure we the money will cover it, so we're gonna have to look at that. Uh, Larry White, chairman of the Finance Committee, is in the audience tonight. Larry, you, heard, you heard uh, yes. Uh, is your intent to hire another business manager uh, in uh, to replace Laura? I, I'm just you know putting that out because if, if you are, then you're 
allocating all of the business managers funding into the expense item and you wouldn't have anything to hire a, a replacement business manager mm -hmm. so I'm only one vote but it's it's not my intent to replace a business manager in house I, I think we're gonna have to look at this Larry I think we're gonna have to look at this uh, in light of um, what's happened and where we're going and everything to make sure that um, replacing that position is going to be in the best interest of uh, the uh, department. And um, at this stage, it's, uh, you know, where uh, we need to get that, that um, deficit filled at this point. So I'm not sure how it's going to pan out, but we're going to be looking at, I think we're going to be looking at both replacing the the position and or looking at you know a uh, subcontract uh, um, device to take care of our needs there right and then I would suggest that maybe instead of allocating all of the 32,000 that maybe you allocate uh, 15,000 or 10,000 and at least have money set aside in the business uh, managers uh, salary line uh, to give you an option if you want to hire a person there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be able to hire a replacement business manager because you don't have a, you've used up all the salary line item. Well, yeah. I, I guess that, that kind of gets where I'm going. In other words, I, I'm, what I'm assuming we're doing here is we're making a commitment that for the rest of this fiscal year, we're going to, this job is going to be handled by an outside firm, mm -hmm. or and, and you won't and, be able and to we hire won't be hiring business if, in manager. fact, we get in towards the the spring, or as budget season comes in, and we start doing next year's budget. By then, hopefully, we'll have seen, or the water board will have seen how this temporary position has worked out, and they'll they'll obviously need to make a decision to, for the next fiscal year whether they want to go back to hiring an in-house business manager or whether they feel that they want to keep that service and maybe expand it to other things but at least keep in other words if the water board's going to have some this is really going to put the pressure on them to make some decisions on where they're going because uh, we just don't have the ability to throw this money back and forth uh, whatever we put into the business managers slot I would say we should look at planning on having that for the remainder of the fiscal year as a commitment. Also to the taxpayers and the water rate users so they know, the town knows what's going on and, and during that time we will we would then look at how this thing is operating, look at other possibly other services within the water department that we may want to look at because I think it's also important to, you know, we have water department employees that also need to know kind of have an idea or some input into what, what's happening to their position and we just hired a new or they just hired a new uh, secondary se secondary operator and a relatively new primary operator as well as a new person in the office so that these people really need to know kind of where things are going so they can they can they can make their own decisions about what they want to do but I mean that's why I would suggest that we you know make the water pop and they don't want to make the will actually make a decision is to plan on this being this temporary position being or the accounting firm being used for the remainder of the fiscal year and then take a look at the operations as, as ongoing as well as you know I could say anything else they might want to look at for next year's budget to put the money in the appropriate slots for whether they want to outsource some more or leave it just at that or you know we, we have the uh, you have the treatment plant opening coming up and those kinds of issues, a lot of things coming up so that, you know, you need some stability there that people in the department know that until the end of fiscal year that whoever comes in is going to be there until July 1st and the plans are in place to carry on from there into next year's uh, budget and if it's, you want to expand into other operations and that's fine but that those decisions are going to have to be made in the next couple of months really to get ready for the springtime meeting. So the decision by the water board has to <coughs> not to allocate the funds, allocate partial funding 
or allocate you know funding for an account well can we um, a temporary account yes um is it is there a way we can um give us the leeway to uh, maybe transfer money out of um, um we are we have budgeted uh for a secondary operator and that hasn't been filled for the last three months so there's money there is there a way we could transfer the money if we do find a business manager that really would help the department or um, can we transfer the money over to that wage line so we can hire that person and uh, or uh, cut short the uh, the uh, contract with the uh, the, this this hire to take care of the business aspect of the department. Um, so so yeah. we have some leeway, and maybe if something does come up between now and the next town meeting, that we have the ability to to um, you know fulfill our needs with a vote with the the board. So, so can the can the water department get along without that secondary operator that you were thinking about hiring? No, we have yeah. we oh. have dollar we have dollars for the last three months that we haven't spent. Why don't you transfer that money to the expense line, and that way you leave open the business manager's slot, as well as you still have the money left in the secondary operators. How much uh, money is that? Line. I don't, I'm not sure. What do you, what do you think, Tim? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have any of that budget detail yeah. in front of me. Tim, was that a uh, <clears throat> wasn't that a proposed budget at town meeting? in the water department yeah. total budget to fund the secondary operator it's been there hasn't it the money's yeah but set I, aside there were positions that weren't there on the and items in the uh, budget there were positions and salaries uh, yeah so i mean the, well the budget doesn't have the breakout so you have um wages and <coughs> overtime <coughs> so is it a dollar fund, a month part of that well i mean it's uh Water department wages is two hundred six thousand one eighty two. Yeah, it would be built in under that, Tim. The secondary, I mean, second secondary, right? We're funded under under that budget. Well, you you've hired and you have have you hired the second secondary? Yeah, but he's not going to start until the end of the month. All right. So in other words, you've got the money available from the beginning of the fiscal year, July, August, until September. You actually, actually four hire, months. Four that months. money's available as, as unspent. Four months. Yeah. And then you could take say half of the 30 or say even 20,000 I, mean, I don't know if we can quickly figure out before tonight the end of the meeting to vote on how much to vote but take a portion of this money uh, from the business manager because obviously that position is going to be unfilled for a number of months so that there is money available there too and if you want to leave say half 15,000 I don't know what the correct figure is so that if come uh, the last three months of the year because uh, because we, once again if we can we get the spring special town meeting that for the last uh, you know most of May and June we can move money around there too so it's really a matter of getting getting keep it having enough money available t from tomorrow or from the day after the town meeting vote to the next town meeting and assuming that the that the townspeople vote the appropriations as we're as we're requesting. Uh, it's just that we, uh, I just feel we, you know, we want to make some kind of a, a firm commitment that this is the route we're going. And that, you know, come spring town meeting, if it doesn't work out at all, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Uh, it's just a matter of really where you, where the department is going to go from here. Is the department going to go into further, further contracting out services, or is it decide, going to decide that, you know, it's, it really wants to go back to being its own department. And it's, it's tough decisions, and there's been a lot of turmoil, so it makes it even harder to, to make those determinations. For the Board of Selectmen support, the Water Department, if we can have an article for the spring town meeting to see if they want to outsource out of the Water Department or all the Water Department, stay as they are. And it's up to the voters. I think that should be our goal for the Springtown meeting that we 
take a very long and hard look at contracting out the operations and that distribution would be shown of the water. That, that that's would something. Be a budget line. It would just be. Expensive. And that's something to explore for long term. <coughs> But for the short term, between now and you know, next fiscal year, uh, we get. Um, I'm thinking, you know, we need to fill this position, and uh, you know, is a temporary accounting person to come in and fill that position between now and it's up to the water board. But I was thinking it's to make that till you know F FY15 kicks in. Okay, to, to, to fund this with thirty thousand dollars, a temporary position. We know we'll have that transition. We'll be able to get it. Have somebody come in, be able to take care of everything between now and the next fiscal year, and then we can make a decision going into the spring on what we want to do. Do we want to fund a new, you know, fund the old position, or how did this work out? This is a this is an opportunity to, to find that out. Again, that is up to the water to make the decision. Well, this way we're testing the waters. Yeah, so to speak. Well, I'm, <laughs> I, I I still would I would recommend that we you, you look at funding this position until June thirtieth, a firm commitment, and then if in fact you know a couple of months down the road it looks like it's going to work, that's fine. And, the, and then the commitment is that if you're going to go back to hiring your own business manager that as of Jul the town meeting and then July 1st, you look at hiring a, a new person. I think to try to play games back and forth mm -hmm. during, the, during this fiscal year is, is, is difficult to, for people to understand and it puts the people in your department in kind of a difficult position. If they know that, okay, this new temporary person's coming in and they're going to be running the business aspects until June 30th, I think that makes it better better for everybody, and that gives the the office staff a chance to you know learn what they need to learn, and 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 you guys and your board can you know make some determinations about how the operation is going, and if it's going pretty well, and you want to continue, then. But there's not a lot of time because articles need to be made for the next town meeting. But at least it, it's a, it's a commitment I think mm -hmm. that you you really need to make, and you know if, if you decide that you want to go back to. Hiring your own business manager, that's fine, but do, uh, figure to do it as of July 1st, not May 15th or something, uh, just just for stability purposes, because there's going to be a lot of tough decisions that need to be made here. And if you can get this one out of the way and and, uh, and get this set up, and the important thing is to get this running so that the business side of the operation is, is you know, making payroll mm -hmm. and paying bills and doing purchasing as needed and all these kinds of things that you need for the daily operation of the water department. I mean, that's, that's the most critical thing at the moment. And how we fill the position after July 1st is a decision that can, can, can be pulled off a little bit. But I, I would recommend that you, you make the commitment to transfer the money and hire the position until June th through June 30th and then make it a transition then if that's what, uh, either make a transition back or Look forward. Look, keep it the same, or look at you know expanding the outside uh, outside uh, contracting for other oper other parts of the operation. Hiring a temporary service to do the yeah temporary okay. service or press. I don't know how they work out. You know, account block of account temps or something. Right. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> well, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> we've all heard of. It. But I mean, I'm just thinking that if we had um, the leeway. To, um, if things didn't work out with a contract or whatever, they have the leeway to go back into a, a wage line. So the problem we're having right now is that we're taking wage line money and moving it over to a contract, which is a different line. So we have to move that at a town meeting. But if we had the leeway to go back and forth, if we had to, maybe that might make sense. Well, that's why my, my recommendation, Tim, is you just you, you make the leap. You, you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna get into this, let's make the leap. Mm -hmm. And if you if you don't think it's, I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't work out to get the work done. Well, it, it's it. just a matter of it. Then if you decide that well, this isn't really what we want, then as of next the next budget season, uh, you, you it gives you plenty of time to advertise and hire a uh, a new business manager if need be. And uh, but at least you've got some stability I, I there. See, I see your point, but I, what I do say, you guys. what I what I do say is that. Uh, you have a, an employee that uh, we're paying a certain rate, and you know, the salary 
goes from here till uh, next July third, June thirtieth, mm -hmm. and so that, that 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 amount of salary that we give her at this point would probably not cover a con subcontract. You need more money than that. Well, we really don't don't know that for sure. We don't know it because we haven't put it out. But, but, but if you it. have a contract service come in and they can't fill that obligation, you always got to go to another contract service. So it's not like you're locked in mm -hmm. to, to one contract service. <coughs> well, so you got the special town meeting in, in May at, at the annual, which you can appropriate more money, or if you decide at that point that you've really committed to going back, you can transfer money back again. I mean, we, there's, yeah, in, there's a the second bite of the apple here in May. It's just, uh, like I say, it's, it's really your decision. Well, I, I mean, I, I we think, just want I to be able to give you the available money to do what you need to do. We need that, yeah. So transferring money. I'm just account. thinking about having the ability to go back and forth. But if you think that we got to just, you know, appropriate, uh, just. Move well, I on. think I think Tim, it's your your board's obligation. I mean, it's you and at this point you and Stu yeah. need to vote. If that's what you want to vote, then. We will then insert the article that you vote into the in, into the warrant for the okay. special town meeting. I think that's how it works, Mr. Chairman. Right? In other words, they have to make that decision. Yes. And good. we're here to uh, you know t t take a look at it with you. And then the need tonight is that we need to put it in the warrant tonight because we're down, we're getting down to the deadline of well, well, we we whatever you feel you need it has to be really voted on tonight so we can get it in the warrant, and get it printed, and get it ready. Dave, tomorrow. we have to come with a. a a number too. I mean, we just can't. Oh no, we definitely need a number. We, I we think we already did. We agree thirty thousand dollars or thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty two. That would be the balance of that. Right. To look into. So right. it's up to that board. Right. Right. All we're going to do is open the warrant, set the money for them, and it's up to them to uh, delegate what right. they want to do. To fill a position. Yeah, but one, one, once we transfer that money from salary into their expense line, then they ha then they're not going to do uh, hire a business manager. Right, exactly. They're going to uh, hire yeah. an accounting yeah. until we this until is until just, the town meeting. Just the next town meeting, like Stu said, right. a temporary accounting service. Right. right, that's it to see how it works. Right. Might work good. They might come up and and again in you, you February gonna, say you so gonna, uh, hire it's up to one the accounting board. service. If it doesn't work out, you always go to another accounting service in this right. th in this way. But again, you know, as Dave said, it is it's uh, was it you, Jack? I'm sorry. That it's up to the water board to make the decision. They make the decision. Come to us, and then we're going to put it on the warrant. So. Okay. Well, um, I'm not sure thirty thousand is going to be enough. So. Um, Thirty-two thousand. So I think we'll start with that. Can I ask Miss Egan the uh, point? At as of right th at this time, we had a motion on the table, and we voted it. That's right. There's a, a vote um, by the actually the water board to re uh, request the selectmen to open the town meeting warrant and to um, place an article transferring um, thirty-two thousand from uh, the business manager salary line to the expense line. To the maintenance expense. Yes. And that was voted by the water board? Yes. And did the board have we? So then um, Mr. Cook uh, made a motion to accept the article in the amount of $32,000 uh, to open the warrant and to close it. You, you seconded it. Right. And it's and my still there. Mm -hmm. Then my discussion, discussion is, we haven't voted yet, my, I opened the discussion about what the law right. is, so we have, we have not voted <coughs> to do that yet. Well, we've already voted. You voted to you voted. Yeah. transfer the Dave trees. Dave yeah. wanted, had questions on right. it. I made okay. the motion, Joe second, and then it was open, the open Dave discussion. had it, right. but it didn't <coughs> come to a vote. We didn't vote yet. No, right, vote. exactly. But now, the motion is still pending. And, uh, um, Larry, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I was just saying, you know, I'm not against the having the account temps come in. I'm just thinking that, you know, if for some reason, you know, you get a great business manager uh, applicant or a person that you know of, you're not burning the bridge by, you know, the secondary operator 
who hasn't been hired, and there's four on salary, that's approximately 15,000 there. Uh, for the 32,000 that you're looking for, uh, that's awfully close to what is, quote, remaining, and I don't know whether Laura has some other vacation time or whatever that mm -hmm. might drop that to 31,000, and now you're in trouble. Well, so take I think the 15,000 from the secondary operator, take the balance from the business manager, that at least leaves you a little bit of money in the business manager's wages if a person comes. If they don't, or if you're satisfied with account temps, <clears throat> well, I fine. think going this way, Larry, going this way to a, an account temp set, okay, we're allocating $32,000. We wouldn't be looking between now and the end of the fiscal year, we wouldn't be looking for a business manager. No, we're not we, we have it. made this decision right. to go in a, uh, an account temp, let's right. say. But we'll say if account mode. temp doesn't work and, and the second one you're having trouble with, in the meantime, somebody that somebody else knows of says, hey, you know, here's a great business manager. And well, that would be yeah. something to look into, you know, to, you know, we, we yeah, discussed I, that, and Waterboy no. would discuss it, and then we can look into FY15 funding that position for a business manager. But from now until the end of FY14, we'd be strictly, you know, going to the account temps with this $32,000. Right. So, in and again, if, if it didn't work out with one ac uh, um, accounting firm, you can go to another one. I believe that both of the water service outside contractors that that I saw, one we went to and the other one I was at your, at your meeting and watched most of them, they will provide business services, accounting services, they, they've got experience in that field. Uh, so at a minimum, you're talking about hiring, you know, people with experience in dealing with business operations in the water department. I mean, I'm assuming that if we put this out, made some calls, that, you know, any one of these couple of firms, and maybe others, as well as some, you know, non, some other accounting type people would be available to come in and, and, and do this. I, I'm not too concerned about the person not being able to handle the accounting that needs to be done for the water department. I mean, yeah, it would take them a couple of weeks to get with the procedures and the process, but I, I would think that we'd be hiring someone who's going to come jump right in. Maybe it's someone that's already helped the water department. Maybe it's it's one of these water water firms, but they both seem to indicate that they can provide any service from totally running the department to secretarial to a secondary operator or a primary operator or whatever. We tell them what we want, and they will provide that person. And if, it, if that person doesn't work out, then they have to give us someone a, di a different body. If, but I don't see. I'm, I'm really not too concerned that it's not going to work. I'm more concerned. That, no, I'm not concerned either. I'm more concerned that we have a, a, a plan in place that shows some a commitment to what we're what we're doing, and give it a chance to work. In other words, yeah. if we do this for a month and a half, and all of a sudden everybody's grousing, and what 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 we're losing ground. We need to make the water department as well as this board in support of the water department. He used to make a commitment that, uh -huh. yeah, this is, we're going to hire a temporary person until June, this is why I say June 30th. We'll make it work. And then in the, in the meantime, putting the budget together for next year, if it appears to be working and we want to either expand the business service or, ex you know, to other parts of the water department, or we decide that, no, we're, we're in a position we can go back and hire our own, that's a decision that will be made in the next two or three months. But meanwhile, for the next seven months or whatever the, whatever the time frame is, we're committed, we're all done worrying about the business manager per se, we're looking at the other parts of the operation now, because the business manager part should be, once they get that initial uh, training or familiarization with our department, with this department, then that, that's done. Now we're looking at other, other aspects of the operation and whether we want to expand the private contract services or, or whether we want to go back to where we've come from. Well, These private companies will do as little or as much as you want to run the, the business. And right. We're just exploring this. You know, it's, there's no commitment here except for the this this uh, temporary right. um, position, and that that's it. Other than that, we're ex, ex, an exploration right, of other, other services. So uh, we have had we've had. Uh, um, 
A motion, a second. We've had discussion. Can I make one more oh, comment, one. Yes, Mr. Sure. Chairman? I, I think there's been such a trans, su such a transformation in the water department in the last six months, eight months, or a year between per personnel mm -hmm. coming, personnel going, uh, various situations that I think it's important that we hammer in that this position now is, is, is in place. We've got a primary operator, mm -hmm. we've got the su superintendent, we've got a new secondary operator, a couple of secondary operators, so hopefully by doing this thing with the business manager, we, we're going to solidify the operation and give, it the, give the water board as well as everybody else a chance to see how things are going and where we want to go from there. And just to have one comment, sure. uh, yeah. if I could. I just want to make sure that if we, if we make this commitment, we got enough money to do it. And so it seems to me that $32,000 will have to be a, like a watered down uh, thing. To, to no play on words there, there, watered down, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It, it, maybe we should um, make it more money. And, or do we have any money out of the other accounts to be able to handle any shortcomings. Well, if, you, if you want to tra transfer 10000 out of those, this, the wage line item for the secondary operator just to cover yourself. But I think I'm, we, I'm ought, we ought to be able to do it for 40000 I have to look it up. But um, <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm in figure some things out during this meeting, <laughs> which well, I'd be happy to do well, if you want uh, me to. Let's, um, I think the most important thing right now is to get the 32000 voted on, okay? And the other 10000 if you need additional money, well, it'd be the water board would need to. They have, uh, they've already voted a number. 000. If they want to change that and take it out of their wage line, mm -hmm. then they would need to do that and make it forty-two thousand. Is that what you want? Well, to I do? mean, if you take, uh, say, was figure twenty-five dollars times forty times, uh, you know, uh, sixteen. What's that going to be? That's got to be out of the money on the wage line. So you want to you want to take um, how much out of the wage line? Twenty five times forty. Larry, you can help. Oh, no, it's twenty five. The secondary operator makes twenty five dollars an hour times yeah, forty I mean, hours I mean, times I mean, three months. Yeah. So we're just talking about a rough yeah. figure. Okay. So twenty five times forty we times also four. We need to find out too in, in Article um, Seven if um, you know we, we were looking at if there's any changes to that, there may be savings if there's a departure on employee without filling it. Health insurance might not be a, an issue anymore, or if it is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And um, same with the pension. There could be other money there, but we need to, we need time to go through all this. And, yeah, I, 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 you know, I would say, Tim, that just a suggestion. at this point, if we do 30, 30, the 32,000, should, should hire someone through the Maytown meeting. If in fact you decide or the contract requires them, I mean, you can make a contract with a person coming in and they're going to work through May 15th. And then it, because it's a contract, if it's working and you need more money at the May town meeting, we can. Okay. So we special can. town meeting, we appropriate more money and extend their contract. It's not like a, an employee that you're committing to and say, oh, wait a minute, we're going to lay you off now. But this is a contract that it goes until whatever date you say, depending on okay. what you're buying for prices. And it has to be in an RFP, and right. it would, would issue that, and we would have uh, a menu of things, and you can cost it out on what their proposal is. The nice thing about an RFP is you don't have to just take the low price. You can actually take a price that's that a little bit higher or offer something different. You have some more flexibility if it's in the best interest of the town. So it just depends on the menu of what you want to mm -hmm. pick out of the financial end, billing, collections, um, you know, obviously the accounting work, posting everything, getting reports to the accountant and the treasurer. Those are the things I'm guessing that you're going to want to have done. The administrative assistant in the office is capable of handling customer service calls. So you're not going to be dealing with that. And uploading the water meter readings mm -hmm. and transferring that to the billing company that's going to do it. That's, I mean, obviously you need to talk about what you want to do. I would recommend you keep the thirty-two thousand and let's, let's okay. make a commitment to that and see where it goes. I it keeps it simple, okay. and the more complicated we try to become, I think the more we're going to get tongue-tied here as far as the future. But I think it, the commitment to do this at least until the May town meeting, the May town meeting, uh, puts everybody on notice that you know we're going to look at the, the whole process and if it works. Then we can look at expanding it or keeping it going. Or, 
you know, whatever, or put something out that's more for the, for the next fiscal year that's more encompassing. Tim, <clears throat> under the uh, short term plan, have you got one of these in front of you? Yeah. Okay. The yellow one. I'm, I'm looking at, uh, I'm reading number three. I don't know if you got that one. Yeah, I have the accounting consultant, Carol Susie, complete the FY13 end of the year statements with now, the town accountant. Being a member, prior member of the mm -hmm. water board, Carol was very, very helpful mm -hmm. of coming in and filling in and doing accounting and upgrading. And I think, I'm pretty sure we, she might not be working for the house, and, but she used to come in and you know, oversee yeah, the she books. contracts out to a variety mm -hmm. of right. people. But so. the thing it is, I think what you might be looking at, Tim, is 40 hours a week. If you cut this down to 25 or 30, mm -hmm. you still got the office is still covered down there. Years back, we only had one person taking the bills, doing the bills, and it was a rat race down there. Now what you did, you hired a administrator, the title, which is Laura. The yeah. first one you hired, am I right? Yeah, I see, I see what your point is. You know what I'm, yeah. I'm saying, Tim? Yeah. It was a new job. It isn't a big thing that we just lost the head person down there. I mean, she yeah. really got things going, and I, I'm thinking, well, you guys with that money, it's a water board, got to exercise what you got to do out there. You might be able to get someone for 20. And like I said, under number three, this girl has worked all over the town. It might be worth a try to talk to her. Yeah, that's a good If point. you get a contract, mm -hmm. you might be getting someone for 20000 That's a good point. Huh? That's no, I'm point. just saying, uh, yeah, being involved down there, mm -hmm. I, I don't, you know, everything's been around the table tonight. Yeah. I think it's something we want to try. Yeah. It's like Chairman Snow uh, said, Dave will agree. Let's mm -hmm. try it. The money. Don't work. You got the town. You come back next year. Put, put it on the on the table. Appropriate whatever money it takes to. I was just to fill the job. My concern was only I, I didn't want to limit the solution with money. We're, we're putting a limit on the money. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, like I, you know, I, I think that you know what you just said. We should be fine. Okay. I would say you yeah. should be fine. So that you know. It, you know, thinking back in our history, go with the figure. And I think that we get the motion there. Okay, just before it close out, John, you had a question? Yeah. John, yeah. John Rizzo, the superintendent, water superintendent. Water superintendent. Um, in the original budget, they allocated 5000 for collective bargaining. Excuse me, John? They uh, allocated 5000 for collective bargaining because we didn't know what the contract was going to come out to be. Um, There's an allocation of 5000 for collective bargaining? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, when that pans out, it may be more than 5000 so I'd kind of like to hold reserve on the secondary operator unused salary in case it comes out a little higher than 5000 Okay. Um, we've, well, we've, the, we've contracts, the contract's been... been it, it's, the contract's been approved, so we should. We're going to know for town meeting how much money we need to fund that contract for the water department. I, 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 have, and I have everybody all set. I'm waiting for the water department numbers. So we'll know once you get the numbers to Debbie. We'll know exactly what the figure well, is for the special town I meeting. Need it. I need yeah, but it now John, you've got it's <laughs> the John, you have those numbers you, uh, to give Debbie. We were running through them. Because it's retroactive. Right. So you need to also include the overtime. And then you need to include the amounts that are adjusted. Standby. For, um, for you need your overtime, your standby, and then you need to adjust it in accordance with the MOA for um, those employees that were already on the payroll at the time of the ratification for another adjustment on January 1st. I 
We had 5,000 in the collective bargaining reserve. Do you estimate that's going to be? Well, if John is indicating it's going to be at least 8,000, we won't be able to fund. Well, the, you, the, you've got the adjustments. Yeah, but don't you have, in other words, we have an you've already got three or four months of un, unspent money for the secondary operator. That money can be put towards. Yeah. It's already in the wage line item that can be used for the collective exactly. action, so right. I don't think yeah. that's a problem. No. In fact, we might be able to not put any <laughs> at this for the special. We could just. Might there's enough, enough money in the wage line yeah, item to already to, to fund the collective bargaining without yeah. adding anything yeah, to the yeah, budget. To fill the position. The right. money was uh, the top. All the salaries were approved at <coughs> May Town meeting. So you didn't fill the job, so you probably got enough to. Yes. Well, we have an article in the in the water budget, um, collective bargaining reserve, just like in the town budget, that what John needs to do is give me the amount that's being transferred from that collective bargaining reserve in the water budget to the wage line and then the overtime line. So he has to break that out. And I think the concern is the 5000 will not cover. But if, if you've checked and, and sort of reconciled the fact that you've had a vacancy in there, you've had a, a primary vacancy for at least, what, one month? Yes. And then the... Um, so that's been vacant. So you have what would be considered a surplus in that line. Right. Um, and uh, the seasonal labor is not working anymore. So you actually have on those sub-budget lines. Right. So y you need to look at that. And, and uh, the selectmen actually are reviewing the warrant tonight why, why don't without we, this information. Yeah, Debbie, why don't we train? If there's 5000 set aside for collective bargaining, it's going to be more than that, you're saying, John. So why don't we just transfer? The five thousand from the collective bargaining reserve line to the wage line, mm -hmm. and then that means there's maybe two or three or four thousand dollars that more that you need, but you certainly got that available from in the in the overtime and the secondary operators opening, so that uh, that that should I don't see that being a problem. You're going to have still have excess money in that <coughs> uh, in that line, so that. We'll just clean out the, the collective bargaining reserve. Transfer it all and to And then you can sit down with the administrator tomorrow or whenever and try to figure out a better handle on it. But yeah. you'll be, for town meeting purposes, we'll be covered. When do we need to vote on that? I mean. Tonight, right? Yeah. We, we, this is I later mean, on in the agenda. We need to review that. Yeah, we need to do it tonight. We have to do it tonight because we have no meeting. So next if, we just week. Take, if we just do the 5000 we're covered. Okay. They, they've already right. got enough money in their other budget. In transfer other. just to wages, not to overtime. Okay. So right. In other words, we're going to transfer, All assuming to that we vote this, the 32000 That's a separate. For the separate one. And a separate one for the 5000 to go into the collect for the right. Collective. The wage line item. I think this is the longest vote that we've ever had. <laughs> well, it's a lot of it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we got sixteen, at least sixteen thousand from uh, having that position filled. I, I would have guessed that, I, but I don't know how you quantify out your overtime. So there would be it's mm -hmm. another line for overtime too. When this transfer wouldn't put anything in overtime. I have no idea what you've spent. I don't know. You could have water main breaks and things that yeah. you've had extra overtime because you're missing a person in the staff. Yep, um, it's uh, unpredictable okay. over time. It's unpredictable. All right, let's return back to. Oh, we can. more discussion? Yeah, just one. one other. <laughs> put put the five thousand in the overtime account, and you you got plenty of money in the wage account if, if you think that's going to be an issue. I, yeah, I I feel uncomfortable not looking at any numbers making me. I mean, in other words, we, we, there's plenty of money. Right, it's just how you allocate. Let's get to that next, okay? Let's right now. We have a motion. Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. I have a motion. I have a second. Good. Any more discussion? Discussion's over. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Chairman, do you want to just that's that's that, that now? Point. Let's address the five thousand. Now, do you have a sheet that? It's a theoretical. Uh, Debbie. It just shows the, the expenditures so far. So the chairman of the, of the water board says you got sixteen thousand available from the unfilled position to this point. So if we put the five thousand in the overtime account, there's no question okay. that we should be we should be yeah. fine. And if we're not, come May special town meeting, we can make further adjustments. But we can sit here all night trying to figure out numbers and or 
So if you overtime, we're guessing you don't have any you don't have any idea for sure how much that's going to be in the next few months. So if we cover the overtime account with that five thousand, we know we've got the somewhere around sixteen thousand available already to cover the so basic collective bargaining costs. Uh, okay, so let me just read the article to see if the town will vote to fund the cost items of a collective bargaining agreement between the town and ASME Local 2905 effective July 1, 2013 to June 30th, 2016, and for such purposes to transfer and appropriate the sum of $5,000 from Line 7 Collective Bargaining Reserve of the FY14 Water Department Budget approved under Article 6 of the Annual Town Meeting of May 6, 2013 to be added to the following budget line. And I'll have overtime standby, 5000 I'll make that motion. No, has the Water Board <laughs> already voted that? I, I just have a concern that um, um, these are base wage adjustments and um, in order to fund them properly, I think it needs to go into Water Department wages. Um, The water department, you have to have to vote that first before it comes to us. Well, no, this selectmen are under have a, a, a bound that's binding on the selectmen. Okay. To present a, a collective bargaining and on call to town meeting. Okay. Okay. So I, I would make that motion, Mr. Chairman, only because I think I think the sixteen thousand should cover everything else. Okay. And if in fact we run into a problem, I mean, but because we're at the last minute here. If mm -hmm. we run into a problem, the special town meeting in May, everybody will be paid through that meeting anyway. You okay. still got almost two months to make right. uh, any make final adjustments, and by then they'll have a, a good handle on what they need for overtime and yeah. so on and so forth. And I think that would. I'll second that motion. Yeah, I, have the, I, have a mo I have a motion. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that was a quick vote. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so um, looking down at the at these uh, points, we address address the current currently, okay, uh, short term plan, and look again. We've talked discussed this long term plan, something just to look down the road, okay, of an RFP, but again, that's just to explore. Uh, with that. Okay. Can I That's can right. I go back on the uh, currently? It says if you don't have, uh, if you don't already have department policies and procedures in place, and and it was discussed that we don't, or you don't. Well, we're not sure. I haven't um, investigated that. I haven't had an opportunity. That to I asked that already, Joe, and and Tim was going to get back to us. But are well, we going to set a? When are we going to get? Well, Tim, I, I guess soon as possible. Well, we need to get it uh, before the end of the next week. Yeah. So, uh, John, mm -hmm. that's what we need. Laura's got to come up with the policies that she uses over there. If she doesn't have a written policy, she's got to write one. Or you do. So we're going to have that for the 18th. Mm -hmm. What's the 18th? That's Friday, okay. a week from this Friday. Yeah, that's your last day, isn't it, John? Yes. That's very important. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Thank you, John. Which chairman are you talking to? <laughs> 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 All right. Um, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. Anything else, Stu? Tim? Can I ask Debbie a sure, one more sure. question? Uh, on number five, work on a request for a proposal for billing and collection services. Is that something that you're? Well, you, you have to do that because of the amount of the contract, if we're talking about the estimating could be $30,000, you have to follow the procurement law. Okay. So. So is this coming from the water department, or? Well, I, I presume I'll be working on it with yes. the water department. Well, should we need a? Should we need a? Do we need a vote right now, Debbie, with the boards here? It would be simpler, so that we're not okay. revisiting this. If you would just want to make a to motion to that um, an RFP. we come up with the uh, proposal, with Debbie, or the town 
administrator for the billing and collection services. And we uh, get that done uh, within the next two weeks. Would okay. that be a joint vote? Debbie, or would that be an individual vote by the water fund and then to the Board of Selectmen? Well, I, I think it needs to be uh, done by the water board. Water the board. selectmen can certainly take a vote to endorse this. Okay. So that um, we can be clear that this is a contract supported by public funds. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, that was the motion put forward. And do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I have a motion to endorse the water I'll department? I'll make a motion that we endorse the previous motion. The request for the proposal. Yeah. I'll second that. And I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So I think that's it. I think we've covered all the everything tonight for the, in the joint meeting. With that, I'll ask for a um, motion to go out of joint session. I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All those in favor with the roll call vote. Jack Cook. I Joe Perry. I Robert Snow. I Dave Peters. I Tim Toomey. I Stu Delzell. Tim, Stu, thank you very much for being here tonight and, and partaking in this joint meeting. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. John, thank you for being here. Thank you, Dave. Fun. Thank you, Bob. Still, you take always care. Always a pleasure, still. Thank you. Thank you. Tim, always a pleasure. Bill Ryan, good. Tim. Just good. Yes, thank you, John. Excuse me, John. Did you ask for anything you want to No. No. Thanks, John. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate you. Patience. John, thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, bro. I'm here for the education. <laughs> You're getting one. <laughs> All right. That takes care of our meetings for tonight. Okay. Get the general business folder out. And we took care of Laura's letter. Folder upside down. Oh no, what am I going to do? Yeah. Excuse me, I messed up Debbie's folder and Amy's folder here. So. <laughs> oh, business. Okay, that's still there. General business number six. Okay, general business number one, letter uh, from Isabel's, Isabella, Bella Lusinski, okay, grant application, and we all remember Bella, Bella was uh, the young, young lady who, the poem on the memorial, from the 9-11 memorial, okay, and we have, this is to, uh, from Bella to Miss um, Egan. Dear, Sel Dear Selectman, Miss Egan, my name is Isabella Lazinski. I live at 22 Wilkes Road in Raleigh. I am a seventh grader student at Triton Middle School. I am in uh, receipt of an ABC Summer Service Award. ABC is a part part partnership with Youth Service America. Rewards youth with uh, to create lasting positive changes through volunteer and community service projects. They are especially interested in ongoing youth-led projects that highlight the creativity and commitment of young people working to meet the needs of others. Over the spring and summer, I initiated a project called Sowing the Love the Fresh Food Project. I planned and planted and maintained a 20 by 20 garden plot at the Raleigh Community Garden. I requested donations for seeds, plants, fertilizers, and local vendors. I met with the Raleigh Council on Aging to determine what produce is most desirable uh, by its members. I then communicated with over 40 other community gardeners to request donations for surplus fresh produce. I delivered fresh produce, herbs, flowers to the Raleigh 
uh, counsel on aging on a weekly basis. I have donated over 60 hours of my time and 100 pounds of fresh produce to the Council on Aging. I have created an opportunity to put surplus pro, uh, produce that might otherwise be compost into homes of those in need and uh, that might otherwise uh, go without. My goal is to donate over 200 pounds of fresh produce before the first frost. This award is a thousand dollar grant made payable to the sponsoring organization so that the work can continue. There are a number of ways a thousand dollars would help extend the life of the project. I could construct cold frames and hoop houses to uh, continue to grow fresh food through the New England winter. I could purchase additional seed, plants, and fertilizers for other growing season. All the money could be used to assist with the installation of a new water well and irrigation system at the community garden. This would be a benefit uh, to not only the Raleigh Council on Aging, but also the Raleigh Agricultural Commission and 40 plus community gardeners. This would ensure the continued operation in garden for fresh, um, fresh food pro projects in hopes that uh, could sow the love. By signing the awardee acknowledgement form, I committed to the ABC Summer of Service Award will be used as, uh, as I described in my application. I have attached a copy of my application for your re uh, reference as well as a copy of the acknowledge acknowledgement form. After speaking with Ms. Egan today, I requested that ABC slash YSA send the payment to the uh, town of Raleigh. Please note that the ABC slash YSA informed me that the grant money would be forwarded within two to three weeks. Upon receipt, the acceptance of the grant money, the town of Raleigh would then deposit the grant money into the appropriate agency fund Raleigh Council of Aging and or Agricultural Commission. Please let me know if you have any questions. Isabella Lewinsky. She's quite a young lady. She's very, I'm very impressed with her. She, I mean, that poem that she put together for, for the 9-11 memorial. So, what we need to do, oh, Larry? I just want to make one comment that uh, she has brought to the Council on Aging uh, loads of vegetables including like acorn squash, butternut squash, tomatoes, cucumbers, broccoli, cabbage. She's done just a, a marvelous job. The seniors there, you know, that really appreciate it because they not only always get fresh fruit mm -hmm. or, or things like that, and it's uh, it's been a real help to to the community and to the elderly to have uh, you know a source of good vegetables and stuff like that and I really have to uh, commend Bella for uh, a very good job. Mm -hmm. She's a, a great person and a credit to herself, her parents and the community. Oh, she's a lovely young lady. I mean, um, the way she commands herself and everything else at the 9-11 ceremonies in, in doing a project like this, I can't say enough. I wish she was here tonight to uh -huh. really, you know, give her a pat in the back and, you know, if you're watching Bella, we think the world of you. Was it not a to send her a little yeah. thank you note for Janet, what she's done? I was thinking at some point that um, the Board of Selectmen, along with the Council on Aging representatives and the Agricultural Commission, mm -hmm. and, you know, community farmer representatives may want to get together uh, with her at some point to um, express uh, your thanks and gratitude to her for all she's done for the community. I'd like, to, I'd like, to, I'd like to send her a letter yep. and invite her into the Board of Selectmen in the, in the Council on Aging and a representative from the Agricultural Commission. All the commissioners themselves or um, you know, any number from the Council on Aging because um, you know, it's, hmm. it's quite the project for a young woman like her. So I did and have a, a conversation with uh, her mother uh, who had stopped by the office mm -hmm. uh, with Bella uh, a couple weeks ago, and I discussed the various accounts that this thousand dollars could go to, without lending up in the general fund. And it is my recommendation that the thousand dollars be deposited deposited into the agricultural uh, revolving fund because that clearly uh, is if is an account that mm -hmm. we can accept donations and fees. Um, 
charge for the Agricultural Commission for programs and, and events. So it helps the Ag Commission to defray expenses, encourage to operate programs, and to hold events. The Council on Aging has a revolving fund, but it's really for the van use only. Um, mm -hmm. It's for rental of the van. So um, that, that, fund, the, that, that fund from the Ag Commission is appropriate. You need a vote for the Yes, for the to, uh, to, set, to uh, direct that, the grant proceeds into that fund. I'll make that motion that we grant the uh, into the ag the thousand dollars into that uh, agricultural. Okay. I have, have a motion. Second. I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Also, I'd like to send a little letter, letter. to. Be good. Yeah, and just a thank you to uh, Bella for oh, her service done. to uh, the town of Raleigh. Yes. And you know, make that motion. Yeah. I have a second. motion. I have a second. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It was outstanding the amount of produce that you yeah. oh, that's contributed to the uh, Council on Aging. Like Larry said, brings a lot yeah. down there. It's close to, I think, 200 pounds right. <coughs> that she's collected and, and grown and donated. So right. I, Larry, thanks for those comments. That's, that's you know, it's good for people to hear what you know, a young person like this, what, what they're doing for the community, especially for the council of nation. That's, yes. that, that's great. Okay. Um, approve the oil heating contract. Vote to approve the heating contract with Donald F. Knowles. That he will uh, issue a purchase order. Everybody read over the contract? I'll make the motion. I have a motion. Second. I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And moving on, we have a road opening permit um, from National Grid to open 16 Central Street for a new gas service. Everybody, everything seems to be in order here. I'll make the motion. I have a motion. Second. Uh, I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, it's one of those we need signatures, gentlemen. work. from Laura. We send that letter to her with regrets. Accepted it. And that's moving on to number five, road opening permit from K and R construction to open 743 Haverhill Street for new water service line. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I give you the motion. I have second. a motion. I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 This one needs to be signed also. Work. Permit request uh, Liederman Engineering to open 17 Wethersfield Street for a new water service. I can find it. Okay, everything seems to be in order. Give me the motion. Okay, I have second. a motion. I have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
Okay. Um, next is discuss water department budget and the fire hydrant issue. Okay. Selectmen have been receiving uh, various inquiries from residents about the status of hydrants. Many hydrants were covered with weeds, uh, overgrowth. Another hydrant, Havel Street, and other at Chrysler Farm has a bag over it. We asked the, um, for a police report, but have not received it. Uh, uh, pictures are attached. So I just want to send this up to the water department. These I pictures. believe they fixed that hydrant today. today. Chrysler was yeah, fixed today. Yeah, they're up no. there working. No. Haverhill Road was fixed today. Haverhill Road? That's what I mean. I still want a crystal farm. Oh, Can you identify yourself? I'm sorry. Glenn Smith. Glenn. Primary operator. Thank you, Glenn. Okay. Yeah, they worked up there all day. Yeah, today. okay. Seen them so, that, so that's one hydrant. There's not two. Right. Okay. Thank you. Well, I, thought, I, thought I was under the assumption from the um, superintendent that it was hit and caught, the damage was caused by another party. We haven't gotten any information. So the cost of that would be subrogated through an insurance claim? Okay. We uh, thought it should have been. I, I, I just haven't seen a police report. Okay. Um, I went out and I took these pictures, okay, of these of these hybrids, okay. This is the one that these the last two are Chrysler. That's down, you know, by Chrysler Farm. And then the others um, are the overgrowth. You can, in the first picture there, you can just see hybrid. Uh, just a motion to send these up to the water board. Yeah, and I would recommend, you know, inform the water board that if, if, if in fact they don't make an insurance claim, the money's coming out of their budget. So how it gets paid for it's up, it's up to them to follow up on it. Yeah, I mean, I can certainly try to file a claim, uh, but I, until I get a police report. Well, the person that hit it, if uh, they don't have the liability or whatever, uh, town can go after them. Absolutely. Well, did they, do they know yeah. who did it? And uh, yeah, it was a police report done on it. I, uh, I don't know. As far as I know, I uh, police were on the scene. They okay. should have been with, with, the, with, the pic with the pictures, uh, a letter requesting this information to the Board okay. of Selectmen. And then, so Mr. Chairman, you identify, um, okay. Uh, the first two pictures are uh, Interville, okay. at, the, at the end of Interville. See the hydro? If you can see the hydrant, see the hydrant's it? in the middle. It took me some time to find it. Okay. Who owns uh, the property there? Excuse me? Who owns the property there? Um, that's on the the end of the cul-de-sac. Okay. I don't know where all these streets are yet. Okay. Me. It's off of... Um, it's off of Christopher Road. Christopher, Christopher Road. Road. Off the actually, Christopher actually, Road. Actually, there's a cul-de-sac. I don't drive think up. the town owns it to be. Huh? I don't even think we own it to be. Yeah, but we still we still we've been maintaining uh, we, it. We maintain them. We it's uh, not an accepted town town street. We we have a right of way around the hydrant, correct? Yeah. Well, well, I mean, we'll 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 we pay money to have them hydrants every year. Yeah. The town's never accepted that street, though. No, yeah, but, but we pay for yeah, the money. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just saying. Yeah. But there is a right of way yeah. around that, that hydrant. That's one of those. That's, that's no man's yeah. hands. So we, we it should be taken care of. Should be taken care of. Yeah. Okay, so let's send this up with a letter requesting about the insurance. And also about these these two hydrants on Nipdaville and on on Havel Street by Chrysler. Okay. Is, is there a motion? So I have. I'll, I'll make, make it. A second. I have a motion. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. okay uh, <coughs> moving on to review, um, Tommy Warren. Selectman need to review the town meeting warrant. If all, if all is acceptable, the board can vote to approve all articles and vote to sign the uh, warrant on October 10th. Okay. So his. So you made the correction on Article 6, right? The, just that figure, the number, dollar figure. Yeah, I, I have it um, on you, the version you have. Um, this has a dollar sign here, but yes. yeah, that's Th okay. that we'll would that. be thirty-one thousand nine fifty-two. There, so I need to figure out what I'm putting on the end of that. And then we need what, how, what are we doing with, on Article Seven with the water department? We're doing so. Um, Article Seven, uh, we're going to be as I read before uh, to transfer and appropriate the sum of five thousand from line. Seven collective bargaining reserve of the FY14 water department budget 
under Article 6 of the Annual Town Meeting, May 6, 2013, to be added to the uh, to line four overtime standby uh, for a total appropriation. I don't know if I have to look that up, but it will be okay. $5,000 plus whatever is in there now. $5,000 plus? Uh, what, what is in there now? So it's not on your copy because I didn't have it. Okay. Anything else? Actually, the 124935. Anything else I'm trying to me? I hope through it. Jack, Joe, anything? Okay. I'll make a motion to. I have a motion to. And then would the new article that was just uh, inserted this evening, would you like that renumbered and moved um, or just to have it after the, the uh, moratorium on marijuana? You can put it at the end if it okay. makes yeah, it easier for end. you. It's not a big warrant. No. So okay. So I'll, I have a... I'll make a motion, motion to adopt the uh, warrant, special town meeting warrant as, as amended. I have a, a motion. Second. I have a second. Any discussion? Anything, oh. we sh anything we should, that, that's good for you? And I will have it, you know, we, um, tomorrow evening is the finance committee meeting. Mm -hmm. I would maybe one or two selectmen attend that with I'll you? I'll be up. I'm planning on being at the select. At okay. the I'll, I'll be there. Okay. The All right. And um, after I insert their votes, you know, we'll proofread it. Nothing substantial will change, just uh, proofreading the typographical. Okay. Errors and I uh, have it ready on Thursday morning to sign, and then we'll get it out to the copy center. Okay, it's a good way for me to spend an evening with my wife too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another warrant I don't get to sign. Okay, we made the vote, correct? The, no. Uh, Dave, oh, made the motion. We had the motion. And second. Second. Yep. And the second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. I leave for Texas huh. Wednesday morning. Okay. okay. Um, we need to close the warrant. We opened it. The the motion. Um, did to close it? And the, the vote that had taken place was to open it, to close it, to accept the article transfer. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure we don't leave it open. <coughs> okay. And with that new business, um, town administrator update. Okay. I just had a couple of things. Um, take the board on um, regarding the um, closure of Stackyard Road to vehicular traffic by yes. the refuge I, I was exchanging some voicemail messages with the acting director of the uh, Parker River uh, National Refuge um, up until the morning he left um, due to uh, the government shutdown so he's on furlough I had been holding every um, meeting in the month of October I open to him to see which one he could make and try to coordinate that mm -hmm. with the other officials that you invited but all that's on hold at this point um, Senator Todd's office did respond right away to the letter and they said that at any time this is brought up either the senator or one of his aides will be here to discuss that uh, secondly um, just so you know they have been some changes uh, by the legislature to the Chapter 30B law, so I will be working up a uh, proposed um, uh, townwide procurement policy that will need the selectman's adoption. Okay, that was it. So he's been furloughed until the acting director. Yes, he was. <coughs> he said that he he didn't know when it, you know things will be back. So it is locked. Actually, I asked Brent to go down take a look at it. He took a photograph of. It is still locked. Everything's in place, preventing vehicular, uh, you know, traffic out there. So, um, you know, and I did call Mr. Brunstrom and let him know we can't get this resolved. Okay. Until like they, they come back, then we'll address it at that that time. This is due to the lockdown. Yeah. yeah um, they're laid off, Abby. Matter of fact, I talked to my my brother-in-law, who's. Down in Georgia, who does the up armor, and he's essential uh, for deployment. He's he's working. So, but 
there's people who've been furloughed who, who will be paid when they come back. It's a paid furlough. People understand that. Okay, um, that's it for, for town business tonight. Uh, announcements, Rally Food Pantry. I'm talking about uh, it's open Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 12, p uh, 12 p.m. Thursdays from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. There's a basket, drop-off basket over at the library. Um, just um, if, you, if you can, drop something off, a can, anything like that. It's, it's appreciated. It's always in need, people are always in need, especially going into the, the fall time of year. Uh, the town has the following vacant seats, Conservation Commission, Zoning Board of Appeals, Associate two open seats, two fence fuel positions, and wood lumber mark inspector. Again, the battery recycling drop-off box, I always tell you that it's good to be green. There's a drop-off box right here in the uh, town hall. There's another one over at the annex. You get rid of those D-sized batteries from a little plastic bag, drop them off right here. Uh, Raleigh Community Media is showing a video recording of the Board of Health uh, meeting of September 23rd, 2013. This is by Dr. Curtis Ersing on Lyme disease. I watched a little bit of the, uh, the other night. Very informative, very important to understand um, this, this disease, especially where we live. I mean, deer tick, um, there seems to be abundance of deer this year. Have you noticed that? So. <laughs> Central Town Meeting, November 4th, 2013, 7.30 at the Pond Grove School. Okay, and with that, we will not be here um, next week. Okay, we, next week is Col uh, Columbus Day, next Monday night. So uh, we will see you in two weeks. So with that, I have a motion to I'll adjourn. make that motion. We adjourn. I have a motion to adjourn. Do I have a, a second. I have a second. All those in favor.